Hello there, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chit Chat and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster where we are working on the Chatterbox theme park. Still working on this unnamed taxi themed coaster. So if anybody has any names that they think would work well for this coaster, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do you one even better. We are currently hosting the very first Planet Coaster contest over on my Discord. That's right, I have a Discord. The link to said Discord is in the comments down below. You can join our very first contest, which is a signage based contest. And I have listed out all of the areas that will be added to this park as it is being worked on. So if any of you want to make signs for this park, uh, please check out the Discord and that contest information. I'm really excited for it. I want to take more opportunities as this Discord is uh, growing to have more community-based uh, things for all of you to do. I think it's really fun to foster the creativity and give all of us an opportunity to uh, work on this project together. I just think that'd be really fun. So this is gonna be the first, uh, hopefully many, uh, little competition collab things that we're doing here on the channel. Like I said, this one is signage themed. So if you want to come up with not only a name for this coaster, but potentially even the signage, oh, that would be really cool. Uh, check out that contest information. And that is it. I will no longer plug the Discord. I apologize if that went on far too long. So today's episode, we're going to be working on the interior and the exterior of the Coaster Bay show building. Uh, I guess we can kind of call it a show building because there is a somewhat like a two second long uh, dark <laughs> element to this ride where it goes through the coaster bay, which I just thought it was kind of fun. It gives it an opportunity to kind of interact with the queue. Um, so not only do you get to see it from the ground level, but you'll also be able to see it once you get uh, past the main building and you are on the inside. And um, yeah, I just will also be, I think we'll also be working on some of the shops in this episode as well, which those shops are also unnamed. So if any of you, I lied, we're plugging it again. So if any of you have any ideas for names or would like to create signage for some of these shops, that is also a good opportunity for the contest. So again, just want to want to have fun with this and I'm really excited because uh, we've got a lot of fun planned areas for this park. I will actually, let me pull up my little mini document where I have all of them listed just in case any of you are curious where this park is heading. So let me go ahead and pull that up. All right, so currently what I've got in mind for this park is uh, the Hollywood Boulevard, which we're already kind of built. It's got the Hollywood Theater, which will feature Miko animated shorts which I'm really excited for that's gonna be a fun animation project uh, I've also got multiple shops there's going to be the downtown alley which is what we're working on right now with the taxi coaster and we're probably gonna put in a flat ride of some sort in this area and of course this will also be home to multiple shops uh, it might even be fun to um, add I don't know, some some sort of uh, interactive element on in this area. I don't know if that could be like a uh, like a, a drive through like a drive through theater or something like that. Uh, there was I'm trying to remember this right because I've only seen it once and I was only there once and it was really 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 stinking cool. There was and I hope I don't get this wrong because I want to say it was at oh uh, was it at Epcot? I don't remember. I think it was at Ep. No, was it at was it at Hollywood Studios? Uh, maybe it was at Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna, okay, no, I'm gonna say it's Hollywood Studios. I feel like that's right. But there was a a drive or like a drive through drive-in theater like themed restaurant at that park where literally all of the the booths were little cars and they were all facing this screen that was just playing old movies and a it was an indoor restaurant and they themed it so like you were always at night so like the 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 ceiling was just lights that looked like stars it was a really fun experience and now i kind of want to look that up because i don't want to be wrong i know this is probably super super unprofessional me looking things up while i'm doing a recording session but you know what that is that's just the way it's gonna go so I'm gonna say Disney Hollywood Studios drive through or I'm gonna what is it uh, um, uh, drive in drive I can't type while I'm doing this drive in theater restaurant yes am I right aha aha dine in theater restaurant oh there it is oh man Okay, I might have to throw this image up on screen. 
because it looks so cool. It's just how I remembered it. I love it. That is that is such a fun stinking idea. That's something I kind of want. I kind of want to make that. That would be cool. All right, so this might be a new project for this area of the park. Dang it! All right, <laughs> like I said, I probably, I probably, if I remember in the editing process, I probably threw a picture already on on screen. So yeah, this is uh, this is the area that I was talking about, the restaurant, the uh, the uh, drive-in theater. It's just so it was such an interesting and fun concept. I love it. It's great. I kind of want to remake that. That'd be fun. I don't know how I would do it, but I want to do it. And isn't that the best part about Planet Coaster? When you want to make something, we don't know how to make it, so you're going to try anyways. All right, so let's go back to the list. Okay, so we're going to have Critter Corner, which will be a Miko-themed uh, coaster and maybe even, like, some water park features. I'm not talking, like, water slides, but if you've ever gone to... I think Universal has one where it's a Nickelodeon area and there's just like water features. It's more of like a um, like a like a playground that just has like water getting dumped on you every once in a while. So we might make something like that because there's a lot of water elements in this game that would be fun to work with. And then after that, we're gonna have Angel Grove Road, which will be a Power Rangers themed area, just because I am such a Power Rangers nerd. Um, and it'll have a coaster that will probably be like a dark ride. Um, or at least have dark ride elements to it, and then we'll probably have a flat ride there and multiple shops. Um, there's going to be Toon Terrace, which will have the over the garden wall dark ride that I've been talking about over and over again, and just because it's probably one of the most, ex it's probably something that I haven't been this excited to make a dark ride um, since the Luigi's Mansion idea popped into my head, so that's going to be fun. Um, this will also probably be the area, it'll either be this one or another area where I add a Benny and Francis themed ride uh benny and francis for those of you that don't know i'm working on my own animated series benny and francis are the main characters of said series and uh i'll probably release more information about that as the characters and the concept and you know the scripts get written all that stuff there's a lot of steps i got to go through before i'm like ready to re-announce that again to the world because the first time i announced it i just wasn't i wasn't ready and uh the characters have changed quite a lot since then so uh i'm gonna keep that under wraps until it is ready to be released into the world all right so the next area is going to be anime avenue um which will feature a couple of things uh three of the ideas that i have so far is a ruby themed coaster that's rwby from the rooster teeth series it's one of my favorite favorite action series uh right now um, and a lot of my friends uh, were really were really into the series. In fact, uh, we got tickets to go see the season premiere in theaters, which we're very excited for. Um, so there was a another coaster that I had in mind, which is a My Hero Academia themed uh, attraction, just because uh, that's another series that I am super super into at the moment. And uh, an another thing, uh, this might also go into the next area because I'm not sure if the theming works, but. We're going to have Sci-Fi Highway, and that's going to have an alien. This is my idea. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure, but I would like to have like an alien-themed um, ride because Aliens is such a fantastic franchise. And uh, I remember going on the, what was it called? The Great Movie Ride over at Hollywood Studios. And there was the small alien section of the ride. And as a kid, it terrified me. Absolutely terrified me. Um, but then as an adult, once I had an appreciation for that franchise, I, that was the part that I looked forward to the most because I thought it was so stinking cool. So I think it would be fun to develop something like that. And I know there's already some like absolutely stunning, stunning alien themed rides, but this will just be my fun little take on it. Um, so the other idea that I had that might go into the Anime Avenue or this one, um, and it's the same with Benny and Francis because they're also a kind of like a sci-fi themed series. Um, would be to do a Voltron themed ride. Um, I tried to do one way back in the day for my very first park and uh, I was not very skilled at Planet Coaster back then, so I had no idea what I was doing, and it was a very loosely themed ride. I feel like this would, might be a good opportunity to try and bring that back again and have more theming elements or even make the lions themselves, which would be freaking fun, so I might do that. So yeah, those are the planned areas for the park so far, so if any of you have any ideas of things that you might like to see in said park, 
leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much. So we were working on a fixture for the future signage that will go on this ride. And now we are developing something that's going to see a couple of iterations before we're done with this coaster. And that is uh, these rings that are going to go around the lift, uh, the very first lift for this coaster. Now this idea comes directly from the ride that I talked about, I don't think the last episode, but the episode before that, the ride, um, Rip Ride Rocket over at Universal Studios, Florida. It's a very, 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 very fun ride. I can't say it enough. I love it. It's great. Uh, right now, it looks a little bit more like a Stargate than anything else. <laughs> so I was a big goober and I put these lights on there thinking that, oh, I can totally put these on triggers and they won't be like super flashy. And I apologize, these things are obnoxious right now in the video because of how fast it's sped up. So I apologize uh, super in advance. I guess not even advance because it's literally happening right now. So I apologize. Uh, yeah, that's 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 bad. That's super bad. So you would have seen that I actually used the, the uh, spotlight originally and that's what I should have gone with because those are actually, uh, you were able to trigger those and these are not and I learned that the hard way after I placed all of these darn things so you'll see me edit that probably in the next episode but for now I super duper duper apologize for how bad that is wow I'm looking at it myself and I'm just like woo what was I thinking but yeah we're going to line these um, so as the coaster goes up it's basically going to be um, red yellow and green for go so I think it's a fun concept um, oh thank goodness I paused it whoo good lord again Sorry, <laughs> I learned my lesson, I swear. Um, so yeah, I just thought this would be really fun. And it's something that you will you do see in the uh, Rip Ride Rocket. As soon as you start going up, there's these uh, trusses, um, these support structures that have all these really cool um, concert lights on them. And I just thought that was a fun concept. And seeing as this ride is um, loosely based off of that, I thought this would also be a fun thing to try and implement and pay homage to. Um, which right now you'll see that it's red, blue, red, blue. And then um, Allie actually was watching me build this and she was just like, why don't you make it uh, red, yellow, and green? Like it's uh, like it's a, a street light. I'm like, oh, that's a way better idea. So I don't know if I do that in this episode or if it's in the next one, but that does eventually happen. And again, this was done way before um, the newest update came out that gave us custom support structures. So I'm still doing this kind of the more difficult way. Um, but yeah, I will probably go back in and do a lot more with those once, uh, once I get back into working on this particular area of the park. I'm trying to lay the groundwork for all the different, I guess we can call them lands or streets, um, that we're going to have that I was talking about earlier. And uh, that way that when I do start getting content for them, I can at least have somewhere for them to go in the meantime. So yeah, I wanted to create, seeing as I knew I didn't have any sort of restaurant or food in the park yet. And once I start adding guests, they're gonna be pretty hungry. I decided to just make this full on like snack station <laughs> with literally everything on the inside of it. So I'm like, are right, you hungry? Here you go. Literally everything. The world is your oyster. Have fun. And I also thought this would be another fun building that had a purpose that the coaster could also um, interact with. So I really wanted this taxi coaster to be all over this downtown area just so that it's like, it's a taxi. It literally is taking you everywhere. And I just think it's really fun, especially right here. You see the taxi, as, like it goes through this area multiple times and you, you will constantly see a coaster going through. And I just think that's kind of fun visually. You know, there's a lot of like play going on here with the with the coaster and all of the buildings that it interacts with. And I'm definitely not done with it yet. I want to um, I want to add some more thematic elements to this coaster. And I think once we kind of get a name down, I think that'll be easier for me to start doing. Um, so right now we're going to work on the station slash uh, queue building. And um, I wanted this to almost be like a rooftop party kind of a thing. That's why it's open on the very top. It's somewhat um, similar to how I constructed the Yoshi Coaster Station utilizing those glass pieces, but it's a bit more uh, complex in how I made it, um, just because now we have the use of uh, actual glass um, panes. 
before uh, when I first made the Yoshi coaster, I didn't have access to those. We just had those curved glass pieces. So to finally have actual glass in the game is so stinking cool. Um, I did have a, I did have to layer it multiple times because there was no other way you would actually be able to see it otherwise. So I think that worked out pretty well, just duplicating it up a lot. And uh, like I said, I just wanted this to look kind of like a rooftop party. So all of the, like, the stage lights and stuff are on the outside and um, don't have any coverage because again, it's, it's supposed to be on the rooftop. Um, so yeah, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this coaster, not really it being themed to anything. I'm really surprised because normally it's like the theme that gets me excited the most, but this one was just fun to make. Like it's just something kind of from my own imagination besides the paying of homage to the Rip Ride Rocket. It's just kind of something I'm like, I just think it'd be fun to have a coaster here and I don't really know, this was before I even kind of had an idea for everything that I wanted in the park. I just knew that I wanted the, uh, the, the when I first started I knew I just wanted to implement a lot of things that I really like, you know, like whether it's animation or movies and whatnot. Um, but this was, this was something I just kind of made on the fly and then got excited about and then just kept going from there. So this one's been fun and uh, I can't wait to see uh, what submissions we get for that contest. And uh, yeah, again, just check out the Discord if you are interested. With that being said, we're gonna be looking at the, uh, the final looks for this episode. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. In the next episode, we're gonna continue working on some theming uh, in the area now that we will have access to the new DLC and the free update. And we will end this video on a ride through of the current state of the taxi coaster. Enjoy, and I will chat with you on the next episode.